Good morning, everybody. A live shot of Vancouver. And love to everybody watching from the West Coast. It's a Monday morning. Thanks for joining. Joining in. Tuning in. Tuning <laughs> in. Joining us. There it is. More coffee. All right, so what we're going we're to do before we do entertainment here, a rare double sound off. Oh, There's okay. two questions. Yes. Whatever you want to chime in on. One, what's your greatest accomplishment by the age of 21 because of all of our Olympians doing great? Two, what color was the damn bird that we just shot? Yeah. Was it green or something else? Because this, we're not... This debate has not ended Let's here in the clear. studio. Let's be clear. I not. see the color green. It's not that I don't see it. But I don't think it's covered in hawk goo. I think it's a reflection of something making it appear green. But there's no way that hawk is actually that green. You understand? Except that it's green. No, it's gray and white. I don't understand what you're saying. That's, if you, if you see green. It's a reflection. Green, what, from, from what? The something. green The green sun? You think that hawk is that color green? Yeah, because it looks green to me. Okay. Guys, I'm, please I'm confused. Help. Chime in. Let's go to entertainment. Okay. Uh, Pink is showing her support for the Norwegian women's handball team. Devo Brown off. He's back tomorrow, by the way. The Norwegian women's handball team protested uh, their outfits uh, recently, and it made global headlines. They called them sexist. So Pink is jumping in and offering to pay the team's $1,700 fine imposed by the European Handball Federation. The EHF, as they're known, said the women competed in, quote, improper clothing, end quote, when they opted for shorts instead of the mandated bikini bottoms at the European Beach Handball mm. Championship, said Pink, I'm very proud of the Norwegian female beach handball team for protesting the very sexist rules about their uniform. The European Handball Federation should be fined for sexism. Good on you, ladies. Yeah. I'll be happy to pay your fines for you. Keep it up. Dina, any thoughts her. on this? This story's getting a lot of traction. Yeah, charge. I mean, it should be a non-issue right now. If they're, them, if they're saying we feel more um, uh, objectified and we want to, you, you know, more coverage like the guys get, why is that even an issue? Uh, I'm with you. By the way, $1,700 fine per athlete. It was right. just corrected in my ear. Thank you, Robbie, for that. good for her for stepping in to make I sure it I think it's happens. a great story. Uh, Mindy Kaling, I love Mindy Kaling. Uh, she's in the news addressing a bit of backlash. I find a lot of entertainment stories have backlash in them. Some are warranted, some aren't. Uh, backlash she received after it was revealed the character of Velma will be reimagined as South Asian uh, in the new Scooby-Doo. In February, HBO Max announced plans for Velma, an adult animated comedy series exploring Velma's origin story mm -hmm. with Mindy producing the voice and the character. During an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers, underrated show, by the way, Mindy said that when it was announced she was going to do the voice of Velma, people were very supportive and happy, especially for the legacy of the show. Then when it was announced that the Velma character would be reimagined as South Asian, people weren't happy. And that they were ruining their childhood memories is, is the reasoning behind it. Uh, she told Seth Meyers, quote, I just couldn't understand how people couldn't imagine a really smart, nerdy girl with terrible eyesight who loved to solve mysteries could be Indian. There are Indian nerds, end quote from Mindy Kaling. Um, I this think people, is people need to relax. They man. need to relax. Whoever best suits like, the voicing, do it. Just like we just had, um, he's a friend to us on the show, the Looney Tunes. The Looney Tunes Bowser. Canadian guy. Yeah. yeah. It's, if, if you have the voice for it and you're the best one for it, then do it. Like, does anything else matter at that point? No. no it's it like Bart matter. Simpson. Blew my mind when I found out it was a middle aged woman. Right? Bart Simpson. Yeah. So it's like so if people it works, might not it even works. know that. Yeah, yeah. You're right. There it is. So people just, people just need to relax is, yeah. the, is the moral of that story. Yeah. But uh, good for Mi uh, Mindy Kalen for, for speaking up. Totally. Love her. Absolutely love her. A Quiet Place 2 Ooh. hit the box office uh, this weekend. No, sorry, previously, and is killing it. Uh, first in the pandemic era to surpass 100 million U.S. That's huge. The film picks up after the first film, The Abbott Family, must face the terrors of the outside world as they continue to fight for their survival in silence. Full disclosure, I still haven't seen the first one, and I really want to. You don't like scary movies. I, I, but I don't mind psychological thrillers. Okay. Like, I, I like this one. Uh, thriller is written and directed by John Krasinski. With the physical release of A Quiet Place Part 2 coming tomorrow, FYI, BT is offering a fun, family-friendly movie night kit to give away, which includes the following. Mini outdoor movie projector, 100-inch screen, A Quiet Place 2 movie collection that's on blu-ray you get an outdoor speaker we give you popcorn we give you some candy a quiet place part two is available now on digital and arrives on 4k ultra hd combo pack blu-ray and dvd tomorrow head to breakfast television.ca slash daily prize for more chances to win daily prizing pardon me for more chances to win i really want to see the first the whole premise quiet place. is I if really you make do. noise the aliens find you that's how they sense you yeah and they eat you 
Do you know that this show would last two seconds? If they started it off by like BT Toronto Studios, the aliens came, we would last two seconds if we'd be eaten right off the top of the movie. Because no one in the studio shuts up. Is we're, the, uh, we're the loud place. <laughs> <laughs> we're the loud place. If they didn't Coming movie soon to theaters. The loud place, yes, we'd win. Starring we'd win. this whole crew. Okay, coming up next, friends. <laughs> Go ahead. We are going to get moving in the morning, especially for everybody who has a pooch. Yes, you're going to get moving in the morning with your dog and your dog walk, how to get the most out of it for not just your four-legged friend,